Okay, cool. Hey, Robin. Excellent. Hey, Natalie. <laughs> How are you? Well, I'm doing very well. You know, like there is so much nerd fest stuff going on right now that we wanted to just like get together and chat about because I mean, yes. holy shit, we've got Endgame this week for the Marvel Universe, which I'm a huge fan of. And I'm like, you know, I'm trying not to like look at Twitter or anything because I haven't seen the end, you know, the end movie. So I'm trying not to hear anything about it. So, uh, you know, but like, I'm going to go see that Sunday. And then we got Game of Thrones, the episode three, which we're all like the carnage, yes. you know, we know it's coming. So I'm just going to probably look, look what I got. I don't. I've got this. It's Game of Thrones. It's oh, uh cool. where'd you find that? Uh it's House Targaryen Cardew. This is my favorite Scotch brand, Cardew. Look at that. So you know what I'm gonna be doing Sunday That's... after I watch Endgame, yeah. which is gonna make me cry. And then I'm gonna have Game of Thrones. Like, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna be like probably in a corner sucking my <laughs> sucking my bottle. You know, right. like going, ah, you know, dying because of all of the, you know, damn, I mean. So, yeah, I, uh, I leave on Saturday. I'm actually going on a cruise with my husband and his family. That and fun. I'm like, oh my God, if it is, I'm excited. But then also the only thing I'm thinking about right now is like, oh my God, if they don't show this episode <laughs> on the cruise somewhere, like, because we all know like a billion people are going to die. And if that, right. if I have to go a week and like not get that spoiled, I don't know. I might like kill somebody if they're like, oh yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Brienne of Tarth died and I don't get to like watch that and mourn it as I'm watching it. I'm going to be furious. So I'm going to be like out in the middle of the ocean, like <laughs> knocking on doors being like, somebody play this show, please. <laughs> hey, I'm going to record it. So if all else fails, if you can't see it, like. Sunday night I'll like stream it to you or something you know or I'll like show it to you on my Perfect. phone like so that you know you can watch it with us so, so yeah we could do that because yeah I have damn HBO go there you go so maybe but I, th I think I, I maybe you know maybe it's worth paying like 50 bucks for a day just to be able to like live stream the show that's a good point I think it's worth it <laughs> yeah totally totally because yeah, like no one knows what's really going to happen. There's tons of fan theories, you know, like about what's going to happen. And, yeah. you know, I'm reading them all like desperately. Like, this is stupid. Like, why do we do this? Like, the show is just in a few days, but I'm like reading every, you know, BuzzFeed, like, you know, thing about it, yes. you know, because I just, I, we want more information, you know, about what's going to happen, even though it's going to happen it's in just a few days. It's how I go to bed every night and yeah. how I wake up in the morning. And it's like, I'm like sitting here. I'm like, oh my God, like, here's who everybody thinks is going to die. Here's what's going to happen. Right. And I mean, some of them are really like, let's dive into this. But yeah. some of them are really intriguing. Um, I think the most intriguing twist that I've been hearing, one of my friends, Matt, brought it up to me. But then I also saw it on BuzzFeed the other day that... Jamie Lannister is going to die in the Battle of Winterfell. Arya is going to take his face, go to King's Landing as Jamie, and kill Cersei. And I am like so on board with that. Holy I don't want Jamie to die. Shit. Right? That would I know. be like, you know, like, like each new theory of how they can kill her is like better than the last. But here's I heard right. this one though, and it like stuck in my brain, and I swear now I can't get my head off of it. But Okay, so the Night King, here's a theory, that he's not actually going to Winterfell. He's marching towards King's Landing. Like, so right now, where we are after episode two, because they haven't shown him. And so he's got yeah. his whites yeah. going to King's Landing, but he and the dragon are on their way to King's Landing. So he and the ice yeah. dragon are going to lay waste to King's Landing and make an, an additional army of the undead. So the, there's a million people there in the city. Now, here's zombie my... Zombie Cersei. Right, exactly. Zombie Cersei, which is what I was saying in El Paso. I almost want to see it. Yes. Like, it's terrible, but it would be so fucking cool to see her as like the bride of the Night King. You know what I'm saying? 
She always wanted to be queen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, here's the another the theory that I heard that I, the queen of, yeah, that I absolutely hate. Yeah. But I've heard that the, that they are going to lay waste the Night King and his army completely to Winterfell and actually kill all of our heroes, <laughs> um, oh. turn them into zombies, march south, and it's going to be up to Cersei Lannister to become the hero and save the realms of men. And I like, I like it kind of, but I also yeah. hate it because I hate her. But it's like, what a what a like unsatisfying twist if really this all boils down to that like Cersei as Azor a shy or Azor a high, like the one that was promised, like right. and she's actually the one who is like destined to save the world of men. I don't know. That's terrible, but cool. Like Yeah. But would she? I mean, god dang it, I just don't but then again, it's like if she doesn't have anything to rule over, like what is the point of her life uh -huh. if she has nothing to yeah. rule over? But I don't yep. know that she cares if she's ruling over dead people or live people as long as she's ruling. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I can see her being zombie queen. I can get behind that. Yeah, but oh, it's... So, I have a feeling we're all going to be really sad Monday. We're all going <laughs> to... We're all, I don't know. I just, just think really horrible things are going to happen. I feel like it'll feel like a, like, funeral, like, death of, like, friends. Um, and I think, and let's, let's jump into it because yeah. this is also the thing I'm seeing all over the internet. The who's going to live and who's going to die. Who, right. and there's a lot of big characters and like secondary characters up at Winterfell right now, I think for the sole purpose of ripping our hearts out. So yeah. um, I'm going to like go down a list of people yeah, and let's see, like, let's see who we think is going to live, who's going to die. Okay. Um, start with the obvious ones. Jon Snow. Dead. He's going to live. I think he's going to live. <laughs> you think he's going to die? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Again? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Because we don't want because, but, to, and and the okay. showrunners and the writer of the series, they just like they're little fuckers in a way. It's like they just, you know, these little bastards just love tearing our hearts out. So, I don't know. I don't think anybody's safe, and I think, think John, John. But I think John will sacrifice himself and die somehow. I don't know. In episode three, yeah, I hate it. Or okay, come undone. Um, okay, I think John's gonna live. Maybe. What about I'd be very fatalistic today. I'm like everybody's dead. No. <laughs> uh, how about how about Daenerys? What I do think you think about her? She's gonna live, and I think she's carrying Jon Snow's baby. I think it's gonna be a little dragon, dragon baby. Okay. So. So that's the yeah. I think she's gonna live too. I think it'd be too messed up to kill like the strong female character. And another thing I read was that yes, maybe she is carrying Jon Snow's baby, and that actually. Jon Snow's baby is the like symbol of the flaming sword and the one who was promised to come defeat the darkness. I don't know. That's right. something strange like that. But well, um, like, interesting yeah. Okay. So we both think Daenerys will live. Yeah. And an interesting side note, you know, the whole series is called the Song of Ice and Fire. And for all this time, we've in, in a way you think, okay, it's the dragon and the Starks, it's the Targaryens and the Starks. But in a way, it's really Jon Snow, I think, because he is both. Yeah. He is ice and fire. So maybe he'll live, but maybe oh. he died. You know what I'm saying? Jon is both. I He's he Targaryen will. and Stark. And so he, it's his story. His is the story of the song of, his is the song of ice and fire in a way. But, or maybe he dies oh, protecting yeah. her and his unborn well, child. They're, maybe. They're offspring. Yeah, but yeah. The offspring would also be a exactly. Fire. exactly. So that could work. Right. Okay. Uh, what about Arya? Damn, I just I can't even conceive of her dying because it would slay me more than any other character. So I have to vote for her living, even if I know rationally I think, yeah. it's probably not true. But she's, she's too badass to die. Yeah. In this battle, I don't think yeah. she'll die. This is all specifically for episode three, the next episode, and I think I think she's I think she's good. Okay. Um, Sansa. I think she'll live. Yeah, I do too. I think big things are going to happen. I think 
wish the Sansa will live through the series. And I think like after last week's episode where Daenerys was talking about how like smart she is and how good of a leader, I think Sansa will end up as like hand of the king or queen or something. I think she's got some I think she'll survive this and end up doing well for herself. I do too, because, you know, in a way, she's like the only one really fit to rule in some respects. She's shown time and again that she's actually yeah. thinking about the people. And I love that scene where Daenerys comes in and she's like, I've brought my, you know, army of Unsullied and all of this. And and Sansa's like real practical. She's saying, well, that's great. But how are we going to feed them? You know, what, what are we going to feed a dragon? Yeah. You know, Daenerys then has that great line. Well, they eat whatever they want. But Sansa's like, well, I don't give a shit about that. Right. I just, you know, I got to make sure these people don't die. So anyway, she and yeah. John, like, I think John doesn't want to lead and Sansa both of them would be really capable leaders, but Sansa wants to, and John doesn't. So I think she'll live because we need her to lead. That's what I think. Yeah. And she's, she's been, not that they all haven't been through a lot, yeah. but she's been through like a lot, a lot. Right. Um, Like physically and emotionally. And she's had such an incredible growth journey. I think it'd be a, a sin for them to kill her off. It's like, like she's got a, I don't know. I'm rooting for her. Right. Okay, now, wait, hold up, because that just made me think of something. What about these undead okay. people that we have already seen in the series that we haven't heard from in forever? Like, what about Caitlin Stark? I mean... Right, well, and that's one of the things, like, because in the book, for people who haven't read the books, Caitlin Stark comes back as a zombie, like, early on, way before we know anything about right. the Night uh, King and his army. Right, the Lord of Light. Those, those, got, those fellas, that one... In the books, you know, I, I don't want to say it because I'm yeah. going to spoil the books, but something happens there with the, the, the Lord of Life. <laughs> okay, folks. And, and, uh, yeah, I do. I do yeah. <laughs> like Dondarrion, doesn't he? I don't know. I don't even think he's alive in the books. But anyway, didn't Catelyn come back as a zombie yeah. in the show, too? No, she didn't. Oh, they she left didn't? that out. Um, oh, oh, no, because, oh. and we were always, and I always, I always thought it was such a silly part of the book. Honestly, I was never a fan of zombie cat. Um, yeah. It's like now I'm all behind all the white walkers, but zombie cat was a little bizarre. Um, and I still, I want George R. R. Martin to finish these books. Cause I got to know like what, right. What the heck her purpose is. But, because think about it. I mean, yeah. in the books, he has a completely different way he can go with it because she's alive in the books uh -huh. yeah. and you know, mm -hmm. she could. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Then whatever I just said, screw it, delete it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was confused between the Keep books the and the show. Brain. Yeah, show. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Okay. Sansa lives. Okay. Next so one. the next one, Bran. Bran oh, Stark. I think he's gonna die. I do too. Um, I think in the next episode, also because in this last one, Tyrion sat down and asked him to share everything with him, and so if Bran shared everything, then Bran can die. Because now Tyrion has that information. Right. And also, let's face it, I love Theon, but like, if it's up to Theon to protect Bran from the Night I King. Know. I know. I was like, little, are you shitting you know? me? This is the dude with no balls, who <laughs> literally no balls, who has like failed almost everybody yeah. almost every time. So you're leaving the fate of the world yep. in the hands of Theon Greyjoy? I'm sorry, Theon, but like. Which. I wanted to smack John. Yeah. I, if I was there, I'd turn him, I would like, you know, what are you thinking? Go stand with yeah. Bran. Anyway. Or like. Send I Arya. I appreciate that. I appreciate, I want, I want Theon to have his redemption story. So I'm yeah. all for it. But it's like, right. they should have been like, yes, yes, do it, Theon. And then send the whole Unsullied army also. <laughs> <Exactly>. like, <laughs> you know. Exactly. Like, um, so, okay, so I'm going to jump there scared. Theon. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I take it we both think Theon's going to die, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. I I mean, I think that I think he'll so. be heroic in um, the end, okay. but I think he's going to die. Yeah, I agree. Um, all right, Tyrion. Oh. He lives. Oh, God, he's got to, doesn't he? Doesn't he have to live? I mean. Yeah. Oof. He's not going to die in this whole series. Okay. Now, <laughs> my, <laughs> a Tyrion. Like, my husband just reached in and handed me a tomato from our garden. So that's what that weird hand sticking in was. <laughs> yeah. Lunch. Yeah. So, uh, 
A weird t- Once, yeah. a Tyrion side note. Okay. Have you heard theories that Tyrion, we talked about this uh, in El Paso at our Tipsy Nerd party, but what about the fact that Tyrion may in fact be also a Targaryen bastard? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I love that. I think he is, but I don't know what that means. Well, it would mean that he is actually first in line for the throne. Because if he is the older brother of, if he is basically Daenerys' older brother, right? Then he, yeah, then he is actually the first in line for the throne. John would be second in line for the throne. Okay, I like that. Now, unless Gendry like actually is first in line with the throne, because I'm see, I'm a fan of the whole concept that the Targaryens don't have squat claim to the throne anymore. I agree. Because yeah. by rights, I agree. it's like by law, it's like, dude, you were overthrown. Your king was killed. Boom. Therefore, Baratheon's on the on the throne. And there is also lore oh about the Baratheon. And then Arya's have- queen of the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So then Gendry is you know and they they hook up and then we have yes so there you go that's another option the only problem i see with that is yeah. that i think gendry's gonna die this next yeah. episode yeah 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 he's on yeah. my death list he is on the death list he's kind of been yeah on the he death made list. all those wonderful weapons yeah yeah and he's he had sex with Arya. it's like he's done his part yeah. And now they just want to rip our hearts out. Yeah, exactly. We're so fatalistic. <sighs> Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. Okay. I'm moving on to the next one. Uh, Samwell Tarly. Oh, God, Samwell. Oh, Samwell. God, he's got to live, right? Doesn't he have to live? He's one of the smartest people. He's, yeah. And they need him so much. They yep. just, they can't kill him. And he's a proven survivor, like yeah. in really bizarre situations where he shouldn't have. Right. Like I think, yeah, he's definitely. Um, but what about right. Gilly? I'm moving down to some of the ones that. Okay, I'm coming to her. Okay. So actually, right. let's just All jump right. to her. Everything I'm reading says that Gilly is going to die, um, which seems really brutal. But she's down there in the crypt. Yeah. You know, we're all sitting here thinking like. WTF, Jon Snow, you put him down there with the dead bodies that can reanimate. Right. Everything I'm reading says Gilly's going to die. Okay, hold up for a minute. Whoop, time out yes. on reanimation. Okay, here's the deal, though. My husband actually pointed this out. So I was very proud of his nerd moment. Like, cool. Um, but in the lore, no one reanimates from actual dead that wasn't made dead by the dead, right? So like... As they're marching south to Winterfell, they don't have like just people coming out of graves, just raising up from the dead. The only people who become White Walkers are people who were killed by White Walkers or by the Night King. So now if they actually have... Right, or they would just have an endless supply right. of everyone who had ever died in the world. Right. So okay. it's actually like... So if they do that, that would be kind of effed up in terms of the lore that they've already established the canon they've already established because yeah. that has not happened. So it a, breaks the rules of the world building. Exactly. A dead Ned rising up headless okay. would be <laughs> kind of cool and badass, And we kind of almost want to see it, I think, but at least I do, Yeah. but it would be against canon because he's already dead. Okay, but yeah. I still think that I like shit's going to happen down there in the crypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I still think Gilly's going to die. Yeah. Um, okay. I agree. Okay, this one, this one actually breaks my heart, even though I mentioned the theory and it's wonderful. But uh, I don't want Jamie Lannister to die. Yeah. He's had such an incredible story arc, and I know he's going to. And I dig the theory of Arya taking his face and Jaime Lannister's face being the last thing Cersei sees before she dies. But God, I don't want Jaime to die. I mean, he just knighted Brienne. It's like he went from just the shittiest shit to knighting this woman. And it just was so emotional for me. I know. (laughs) And it will be if he dies. 
There wasn't a dry eye in my house when Brienne was kneeling and he was knighting her. No. Even after that ridiculous story by John and Spain. <laughs> 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 yeah, because you sort of look like my husband and I both looked at each other and we were like, what the fuck? Right. And it was funny because then I, I see all the memes right. and it's like, wow, the rest of the world had the same reaction. Right. Everyone's like, <laughs> uh, which is funny. What the hell did I just listen to? But it, it does tie into the yeah. lore in the book, though. He's a storyteller. And in the book, he's he's in the book. He like gutted the he said he killed the giant and slept inside her to keep warm. And then, you know, was suckling at her tea. And John's like, what the hell? In the book, he's like, you know, what the hell? You can't you can't have killed her and then later be suckling at her teeth. Come on, dude. But right. yeah. Biology. Oh, um, I, I agree with you. I think Jamie's um, gonna die, and I think it's gonna it's gonna be one of the saddest moments because all of us have watched yep. him go from yes, the crappiest turd blossom on the planet to, you know, like one of the truly most noble and you know, yeah. Anyway, yeah. that will make me so cry that, hard. So that segues into the next one, which also is going to just rip my heart out. Brienne of Tarth. I think Sir Brienne of Tarth. I think she's going to die. I do too. Um, I think she... Robin, I'm crying now I mean, just in that... thinking about it. Oh my God, I'm tearing up. Just thinking about it. I'm like, how am I going to get through this show? Well, There's not enough whiskey you... in the world for me. I think... <laughs> no. I think she and Jamie are going to die together yeah. in like, I mean, she's on the front lines of this battle against dead right. people. We saw her charging. She's leading. Right. I think she and Jamie are going to die together. And I think I'm going to probably just mourn. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. um, I, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I can't, I don't even like talking about it. Um, okay. Podrick since we're with her, I think Podrick's also going to die. I think he's going to live. Her squire. Yeah, I think he's going to live. You think Podrick's going to live? Yeah, I do. I hope he does. Okay, I hope so. Um, what about the Hound? I think he's going to die, and I think it will be a noble death. I mean, he will die in a way that's okay, noble. So He'll be saving thing, somebody. If he dies next week... I think he will be saving Arya, but I don't think he can die next week because we've been waiting for eight years for the Clegane Bowl between him and his <gasps> oh, brother. Oh, yes, that's and true. And I think he got to, if they do not let us see, he will probably die during the Clegane Bowl, but he better kill that big oaf zombie brother of his on his way down. Like, yeah. I need that from the Hound. Um, yeah. Okay, here's here's another one. Another one that was sad. Jora Mormont. Oh, Sir Jora. He's I so like dead. him. So dead. Yeah, he's so dead. I do too. Uh, he's so dead. He's dead next episode, I think, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, Beric Dondarrion. Dead. I think he's dead. Yeah. Lord of he's, Light. Bye bye. He's lived too. Yeah. Yep. All right. I'm going to do this one as a pair, but I think it'll be one or the other. Uh, Miss Andy and Grey Worm. Oh, you think they they're, one of them is going to die? Lovely moment talking about. <sighs> yeah. I think so, but like, how wonderful if they both lived, like, and that they both in the last episode are on a beach in Nar. Right. Um, I so want that. I mean, I I want to see them. I, together I think they deserve it. The end, but I do fear that one of them won't make it. I feel like I want to say Grey Worm would die, but I think because of how the show is, Grey Worm will live and they're going to yeah. kill Miss Andy. I agree. Just to screw with us. Because Which he is, said uh, that his worst fear, his only fear, he was never afraid and he only became afraid when he learned, loved Miss Andy. And so, yeah. Yep. The writers of this series, uh, you know, love like torturing the shit out of everybody. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Or they both die. Or they so both at least die. maybe they can go be on a beach in whatever seven kingdoms heaven there is. Right. Um, all right. What about Varys? Lord Varys. Okay. He's he's one of my favorite characters, actually. I love Varys. And I think that, yeah. especially in the books, 
you know, there are so many great quotes of his wisdom. He's really a wise character and it's very sad for him to die. Yes. But I do think that he will die in this battle. Yeah, that's what, um, there's a piece uh, at one point in the story, Melisandre predicted she was having a conversation with Ferris and she said he would die in a strange country, um, As would which she. she also said about herself. So right. yeah, I think Melisandre and Varys are both dead. Yes. Um, and then I my last one, unless I'm missing somebody, our, our uh, breast milk enthusiast Tormund. I think Tormund's gonna live. I do too. I think. I don't the, think. I, th I don't think you can kill him after his breast milk story. <laughs> right. I I think that he'll live really as fan service. Honestly, I think that um, when you read about the show, uh, you know he's such a fan favorite that I think as fan service he will yeah. live. Did we talk? And about he's the last wildling. Yeah, he is the last wildling. Did we talk about Daenerys? We did. Yeah. What we, did we I both say? Think she's going to live through this battle. <laughs> That's right. You said yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'm going through the list, though, thinking, like, is there yeah. anybody I missed? Um, whose death of those do you think is going to hit you the hardest? Oh. I. Wow. So I really am attached to Arya and John like probably mm -hmm. the most and but Arya yeah. if Arya dies it will be like I'll feel like my little sister died or something like that you know what I mean like I'll, I'll feel like it mm -hmm. I'll I'll be so effing sad <laughs> I'll just I'll be like just <laughs> you know, I'll need cupcakes. I will need like Hagen dazs I, I mean, it will just be so, so sad yeah. if she dies. I would say she is probably the one that would rip my heart out the most. But, you know, really any of them, even ones like Cersei. I mean, even seeing Cersei die would, I think, emotionally upset me because, you know. Uh, you know, God, I I am a, I am a sociopath because I think I would be like oh yeah I might be like on social media oh my god it's so sad but like in the real reality of my home I'd be like yes <laughs> well yeah justice. I mean, yeah <laughs> I mean I definitely I've said this before like I, I want to see one of those dragons you know like take her out you know what I mean I mean that would be like the ultimate justice yeah. I feel like for Cersei but. Uh, but sadly, like yeah. once I heard about the idea of her becoming a queen of the undead, I can't let it go. And I almost want to see it because it would be like, cool. But yeah, she's got to. Yeah. I mean, I think she either has to be redeemed or she has to die. But I think if you could redeem Jamie Lannister, there is the potential you could redeem Cersei Lannister. And it would be a hell of a thing to pull off well if they did it. Uh, yes, I think so. However, it took us eight years to redeem Jamie Lannister. That's true. Cersei's got four episodes. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know that it's possible. <laughs> Can you redeem in like, you know, one big fell swoop? You know what I'm saying? Like if she saves, if she actually saves the seven kingdoms from the Night King, does that redeem her? I mean, in a way it would kind of be cool if how you end it is she saves the seven kingdoms, but then she goes right back to the war against the North. You know what I mean? It's like, okay. <laughs> Got rid of them. Yeah. Now let's go back to fighting because that would kind of be like consistent with Cersei. And, and you know, I just have to say, I love Daenerys all the way through this entire series. But this season, I'm kind of like, she's being a bit of a butt. I'm a little bit irritated with her. She, yeah, um, she's, I agree. I want to go back to this because I don't think it's said enough. But how it works, how it's always worked is that if you, get overthrown your family is no longer entitled to rule because whoever the targaryens overthrew like that person's descendant isn't like oh no me 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 right the baratheons overthrew the targaryens right i don't think the targaryens have any claim to the throne right i think i mean i, mean, I think gendry is the only one who has any claim to the throne right and then the rest it's like cool i love that story but 
I think they need to like rock, paper, scissors and be like, okay, right. look, none of us have this claim. Let's all elect or or maybe democracy. I don't know. Let's right. go with that. That's a little better than rock, paper, scissors. But like, right. hey, hey, let's all agree that maybe Tyrion's probably the smartest person here. He should maybe be our king or, or Sansa. Sansa or right. like, let's get the whole bloodline out of this. Yeah. Right. Um, I don't know. That's like you in episode one of our show, you were talking about your council of heroes and that's kind of. Yeah, like what we're going of with that. Yeah, Council of Friends. That's right. So, yes, you know, at the end of yeah. the day, I think that makes a lot more sense that they have it, have it like that. Mm-hmm. But okay, so yeah, Game of Thrones, yeah. all of our fan theories. So we want to hear what everyone else thinks. So um, if you're looking at this yeah. video, wherever there's comments about it, let us know what your thoughts are. Agree with us, disagree with us. Uh, tell us your own fan theories. As we get ready, so Robin, Please. I feel like the nerd universe is ending, and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do in June, okay? Game of Thrones, last episode airs yeah. May 19. We got Big Bang Theory oh God. ending May 16. Oh my God, I know! I cannot handle that. And Endgame is going on, as we record this, it's out right now, we haven't seen it yet, but we got Marvel Universe Endgame. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? Now would be a really great time for, like... Bioware to announce a new Dragon Age game, you know, or like the Wheel of Time yeah. finally getting it together and saying they're gonna, you know, Ooh. come out with a new show. We need something to fill the gap. But my so God, I, we're in more we're in nerd morning we already. I, I know. <laughs> yes, um, I know. Amazon is working on like Lord of the Rings prequels yeah. as a tv show right um i'm super stoked about that hbo i think is going to do some game of thrones prequel yes um but again it's like once you yeah i'm really mourning big bang theory also just yeah. to throw that out there yeah. like when you've spent like eight to 12 years of your life with people it's like it goes beyond even like missing the nerddom of it it's right. like I can't say goodbye to my friends right? <laughs> and, and a really big part of my life. Right. Yeah, I know. I know. So, but Hey, we'll all mourn together. We'll meet back yeah. here <laughs> later <laughs> in May and, and we'll nerd out about it some more. And for years we'll have like, yeah. you know, discussion about it until the next thing comes to fill its gap and we need some new stuff. Yep. I mean, there are, we, we just talked to Hugh Howie a few weeks ago, guys like that, people like us, we're all yep. writing and we're all making new stories. So, you know, come on, step it up, Hollywood, get be, get behind these stories and get them out there mm-hmm. because there are so many people out there creating really cool stuff. But in the meantime, yeah, yep, I'm going to have a, a, like a period of mourning, wearing black, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, at the end of this, at the end of this series, at the close of the Game of Thrones series, we should meet back for a like a funeral episode where we like say farewell yeah. and toast all our friends who passed yeah. over the series, and you know, eat cake and Hagen does and whiskey and yeah. celebrate this incredible story. <laughs> we'll do it. It's 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 yeah. on. We will definitely do that. We'll meet back and we'll yeah. chat about it then. Perfect. Okay. Always good talking to you, Robin, and nerding out with you. You too. Bye, everyone. Yes. Goodbye. Take care.